<laughs> What's up, guys? Um, I got a new movie review for you. This one's from Code Red, one of my all-time favorite labels. Maybe my favorite label ever. Severin is pretty close, though. I do love Severin. But uh, Code Red is amazing. They have so many good cult, horror, just crazy exploitation movies. This one is an Ozploitation movie, an Australian uh, horror exploitation movie. And it's called Lady Stay Dead. It is number 20, I think. Yeah, number 20 in the Code Red collection. And the cover pretty much sums it up, man. There's this handyman slash gardener. His name is Gordon, and he's a creepy motherfucker, man. He's got a weird beard, and that's coming from me. Um, he's got a weird beard. He's got, I don't know, he's got glasses. This is all sort of, I'm not Gordon. I swear I'm not Gordon. Uh, anyway, he's a real creeper. And he works for this woman who is kind of a big star. She's an actress and a singer. He's obsessed with her. He watches her through binoculars and humps a sand dune while he jerks off watching her through the binoculars. Um, just a real weird, creepy dude. Um, her sister is coming to visit, and it just so happens that it was right before, or it was right after Gordon kind of got finally got up the courage to come and confront uh his boss about his feelings for her and kind of make a move on her and of course she just shoots the shit out like shoots him down he has no chance she bitches that he's a creep and he's dragging mud all over the carpeting and so he's like hey you know and rapes her <laughs> and then after that uh he's kind of trying to still be nice to her even after he rapes her and she's not having it and he gets pissed off and he fucking dunks her down in an aquarium like shakes her in an aquarium and drowns her um, and so the rest of the movie is him trying to keep this a secret. Her sis sister, or her sister, I'm sorry, is kind of slowly figuring out that something's wrong because her sister's not around. And this creepy dude is kind of like has the, all the answers as to what's going on, but he's not obviously not very trustworthy. Um, and then it just kind of what happens to her after that. Um, it's a it's a good movie, I think. It's if you like these kind of movies, it's not a good movie in the typical sense, but um, I think it works because of how creepy the dude is. What was the guy's name? Chard Hayward is just such a weird, creepy dude. I mean, he's just super slimy. Um, it, the, everything about this movie works because of him. Everyone else in it is okay, but he's just super, super weird, super creepy. Um, the the finale chase scene at the end is so wild and over the top. It's got a crazy uh, kind of a weird... I don't want to say a twist because it's not a twist, but kind of a, a turn, I guess, a turn at the end. Um, also, uh, Roger Ward comes in toward the end, which if you've seen a lot of Australian movies, Roger Ward is always like a sadistic motherfucker. And in this one, he plays a cop, and you're like, oh, cool, Roger Ward's a cop. Everything's okay. No, he's a fucking asshole. Um, he goes off on this tirade against the, against the girl saying that, like, her sister was kind of a whore and a tease, so maybe she had it coming anyway. <laughs> Um, it's just really dark stuff. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of blood in it, but it does have some. It's got a lot of nudity, um, including a lot of bush, a lot of big old bountiful bush in this one. Um, the Blu-ray is from Code Red. Um, I don't think it has any extras on it, but it does have an HD transfer. It looks fine. It's nothing out of the ordinary, nothing fantastic, but it's just nice to have the movie in HD, and it does look good. It's got some problem spots, obviously, but... I mean, I, I can't imagine it looking uh, too much better than, less, uh, than this unless somebody invests heavily in, you know, a restoration, and a, like a 4K scan or something. Um, I would recommend it to anyone who likes uh, horror movies or exploitation movies. Uh, this is from the 80s. It's, it's just really, it's really dark, um, but I think it's, it has a lot of fun moments in it just because of what a fucking creep this Gordon dude is, man. He's such so slimy and disgusting. Like he makes the movie for sure. And then having Roger Ward as this just bizarre policeman at the end adds a lot to it too. So if you don't, if you like exploitation and horror movies that definitely have like a darker edge to them, I would check it out. It has like a super like stalker vibe to it, which is always good, I think, for movies like this. Anyway, that's Lady Stay Dead, number twenty in the Code Red collection. Um, I would go to Code Red dvd.com or screen archives i think has this as well i think this is a limited edition of a thousand but i don't know for sure it's one of their earlier releases um so i'm not sure what stock is like on it if you want a code red movie i would all blu-ray i would always jump on it and get it just in case because you don't want to end up having to pay ebay prices for it but definitely check code red dvd.com and then screen archives.com before you pay some ridiculous price for it that's lady stay dead i hope you like this review guys and hopefully i'll be back with another one soon